Okay guys, so I've set up the trap on the outside of the fence and uh, hopefully we're going to catch this guy. Hey guys, Norm McGregor on Now's a Hideaway for Island Adventure. Well, the chicken tractor is pretty empty. Today, uh, Martin got into the chicken tractor and wiped out our little chickens. So, predators are something that you have to be incredibly vigilant with. Um, it was a pine martin uh, when we got home. The pine martin was still in the, the shed, but he managed to get back out. I thought this shed was pretty secure, but what I realize is that the pine martin has a very, very small head. Uh, 50 millimeters is his head, which is about 1.2 inches. So he can get through a hole, basically one inch. And what he did is he, he got under the very edge of the chicken tractor. Like here? Now if you can believe that, he crawled under there and came up through the inside. Now you can see he was quite anxious to get at these chickens. Look at all the, the scratching and digging and stuff that he did to get at it. So he'd been there, I guess, well, I guess we'd only been gone not that long, but anyways. And on the floor, I had two by three inch uh, wire so he could easily get through that, but we just never thought he would get under it. This was more for raccoon proofing, because raccoons will dig, but this little pine martin, he slid right under. Okay, so what am I gonna do about this? Okay, so what I've done is I've got a live trap from my neighbor, I borrowed it, and we're going to use the ultimate bait for pine martens, which is sardines, canned sardines. Apparently, checked it out on YouTube. There's many, many people say this is the best bait. So this is what I'm going to use. And my neighbor showed me a little trick that when you put, you get yourself a little stick, and when you load the trap, this is this is the um, this little plate in the bottom. That's the trigger, and what you do is you put this little stick right through here, like so, and that forces whatever goes in that trap to step over and onto the trigger to make sure that uh, he gets caught. So let's get this set up. All right, guys, so we got the sardines in the cage, and I've got the cage set out in the back of the yard just on the outside the fence now the important thing with using the sardines is you want to make sure you only open the can a little bit so the smell comes out but he has to come in there and actually work it because you want him in the cage as long as possible the idea is he's going to come in i got the stick in place so he has to step over that onto the, the switch and what i'll show you is when he comes in and steps on that switch, that door slams shut and it locks. It's got a locking mechanism here. And uh, we're going to have ourselves a Martin. All right, it looks like the uh, trap has sprung. Let's see if we got this little sucker. Ooh, I see ears in there. Oh, I definitely see ears. Yep. Mr. Pine Martin. Mr. Ooh, you are a nasty little sucker, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, you are just one nasty little sucker. Holy crow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are definitely one nasty little sucker. All right, little guy. You're, uh, you're going to be going away. Yes, you are. 
All right, guys. Well, we've taken care of that pine marten, and just in case there's another one, I've reloaded the trap and put it out um, because we got new chickens on the way, and uh, hopefully we're not going to come home to a feathery mess like we did before. All right, guys. Number Gregor on those. I had to go for an adventure. Take care.